Good morning, this is Jay with Grateful Sunites. So we had something really cool happen yesterday and today, and I'm gonna go show you what it is. So we got this egg yesterday, and we got this egg today. And the exciting thing is these are our very first duck eggs. One of our ducks has started to lay. I think they're from the same duck. They look to be the same color. I'm not sure which duck it is. They're kind of a really, really light green color. Um, our khaki Campbell is the oldest. And I had trouble figuring out exactly what color eggs she should be laying. It sounded like they can lay different colors, green or maybe a brown. So this could be our khaki Campbell. If not, I have no idea <laughs> which one it is. But we are really, really excited that we have duck eggs. Nara is the one that feeds and water, well, feeds the ducks, Ruben waters them, and she's the one that found the eggs, so she's pretty excited. Okay, we sold some ducks, or we are on our way to sell some ducks. I posted some of them for sale today, and in less than 15 minutes, I had someone asking about them, so um, we're gonna get them loaded up, and Kurt and Ruben are gonna go meet these people um, here in just a little bit. They've got a bit of a drive. Um, we're meeting them part way, because we're nice like that. <laughs> so we are selling our two white layers. They're the biggest white ones, and we are selling our three buffs. We had two females and a drake, and they're not related, which is pretty cool. I know that you can breed related poultry, but it's always nice to have not related. So, they're taking all five of them. We're going to get them gone today, which makes me a little bit sad because there are for, there were some of our very first ducks, but it's not a bad thing. It's good. Um, we're kind of changing the direction that we're wanting to go with our um, our duck herd. Gaggle? Gaggle is geese, whatever it is. Here come the kids, they're gonna help us catch them. <laughs> Five, we need the three buffs and the two biggest white ones. ducks in here. All five of them are ready to go. It's the two white layers and the three buffs. I'm a little sad to see this guy go. He was one of our very first ducks. It was the two that we did as an impulse buy from Tractor Supply in September right after we moved here. But um, it's okay. It's okay that he's going to a new home. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be a fun car ride. I'm not sure that they're gonna enjoy it, but we put some of these wood shavings in here because we know that they're gonna poop, and I'm hoping that that will help them to not just be covered in it by the time they get there. And then they'll have to do a switch off, which will be fun because they're gonna have to pull these guys out and put them in whatever crate the buyers have. But um, it's a little sad to see them go and say goodbye, but at the same time, it means we're on our way to having the uh, the duck herd that we're we're kind of aiming for and wanting to have. So that's a good thing too. Bye guys. Bye guys. He was Gertrude for a while until we found out he was a boy. I still kind of call him Gertrude. <laughs> Bye guys. You have a good trip. Tonight for dinner we are having taco sauce over Fritos. Now, I had never heard of this before I got married to Kurt. But his family had had it and they love it so we actually make it. I guess we haven't made it since we moved here but we usually make it quite often. So basically, and I'm sure you've had some variation of this, you put Fritos in a bowl or on a plate, we like a bowl, and then you need some help, just a sec baby, then you come over here, and this is the taco sauce. Now ours is different than most people's because we don't put meat in it. These are 
wheat berries. Sorry, it's talking up the camera. So we cook our wheat berries. I'll bring over here and show you. We cook our wheat berries in this little crock pot. That's pretty much the only thing that we use it for. We soak them for 12 to 24 hours in water and a little bit of apple, apple cider vinegar. And then we cook them in here. And then we put them in our pot with our V8 juice and our, it's enchilada seasoning, the packets of enchilada seasoning or what we season it with. I don't know why it's taco sauce over Fritos versus enchilada sauce, but the name stuck. So. We put all that in here and cook it till it's a little bit thicker. We put it on our Fritos. Okay, so I've got the sauce on here. So I'm gonna add shredded cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and sour cream on mine. Some of the kids really like to put olives on there, so you're such enjoying his. Ruben has it too, but since he doesn't do the dairy thing, he just skips the sour cream and the cheese. Don't feel bad for him, it tastes amazing even without it. So, we haven't had this in a while, not since we moved, and we haven't had it, we hadn't had it in a while before we moved too, so. Is this the first time we've had it in this house? Yeah. <gasps> New memorable moment. This is the first time we had it though. We had it in Idaho, right? So, and it was a night and I got sent to his bed. <laughs> he keeps bringing up this one time that we had it that Thatcher got sent to his bed and it was just me and Nara and him eating it at, at the table. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's sticking. You were out with dad somewhere. I don't know why that's sticking in his me, mind though. Me and Nara, me and Nara and you was eating little of this. Yeah. 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 You guys all like it though? Yeah. Yeah? Is this a family favorite? Yeah. Ruben's going on Gollum over there. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to go get mine fixed up because I am really hungry and it smells awesome.